everybody, welcome to part 4 of how to build the airship map in Minecraft for Bedrock players. So let's just jump right into medical. Here's the dimensions for the first half of the medical room. There you go, and the blocks you're going to need are spruce, oak wood, spruce wood planks, white concrete, gray concrete, brown terracotta, white stained glass, a uh, sea lantern, and a white bed. So first of all, just fill in your whole floor with uh, spruce wood planks. Now once that's done, just make sure this part isn't filled in right here. If you did, then you might want to want mine those bricks, but that's okay. Now I take out your white concrete and go up three on all these walls, except for the light gray concrete part right there. And now once that's done, you can just take out your uh, brown terracotta and cap this all off. And now once that's done, we're going to take out our uh, white beds and place one right there, one right there. Now we're going to take out these three blocks. We're going to place three sea lanterns just like that. And now I'll put in that middle with white stained glass. And there you go. Now let's get on to the uh, decorations. Now once that's done, we're gonna, for the decorations, we're going to need a block of iron, a polished box and slab, painting, our dark oak trap door, dirt, dark... Dark oak fence, I can't speak. Dark oak leaves, iron frame, and glass. So we're gonna go from this very corner right here, go up two with iron blocks. There you go. Now place your slaps just like that. And now we're gonna go over to this corner and oops. There you go. Once you got the uh the black and white one, we are now going to take out our dirt, place one right there, go around that. Dark oak fence, and your uh, dark oak leaves, like, just like that. Now we're going to go out one from right there, uh, place your glass in like that. Now go from this corner and just place a download slash upload data right there, and wait a second. Okay, never mind, I messed up, you're actually going to go two out from here, one... Uh, Adam frames right there, glass, and a dollar such full data right there. And other than that, that is the first half of this medical room completely done. So let's go on to the second half. Okay, so here's the second half of the medical room. These are the dimensions. There you go. And the blocks you're going to need are cyan terracotta, white concrete, and brown terracotta. So first of all, just fill on your whole floor with cyan terracotta. Now, once you got that done, you're going to have the exact same wall from uh, this medical half onto this medical half. Okay, now once that's done, our decorations for the first half are going to be prismarine brick stairs, oak wood planks, item frame, and a blaze rod. So first off, what we're going to want to do is place some star I'm mean, not dark prismarine, uh, regular prismarine right there, a 3 by 2 right there. Item frames just like that, then uh, blaze rods facing that way, now let's get on to the second half. Now for the second half decorations, we're going to need white concrete, plush, blackstone button, Prismarine brick stairs, spruce spruce wood planks, spruce trap door, flower pot, cactus, sea lantern, and purple glass. So we're going to go one from right here, place a button right there, dark prism, not dark prismarine, why do I keep, why do I keep saying that? Uh, take out your spruce, spruce wood, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and go around this whole thing. With your trap door, just as simple as that. There you go. And now, once you got that done, we are gonna take out our uh, flower pot, cactus button, and then right here, just put in your sea lanterns along with your purple glass. So once that's done, we're gonna take out our lever, item frame, polished blackstone slab, and our great concrete. So go one from right here. There you go, just like that. Item frames, lever, same thing right here. There you go, same, just like that. And then boom, and that is your entire medical room completely done. So let's get into uh, showers, I think. And I actually forgot something, so take out your great concrete sea lantern and black stain, black glass stain pane. And whatever it's called, it go around here just like this. So it's that there's a two long in the middle. Take out those, put your uh, black stained glass pane right there, and then place your sea lanterns right there. And that's gonna make for your light panel. Now, medical is completely done. Let's move on to the next room. Alrighty, so here's the dimensions for the shower room. There you go. And the blocks you're gonna need are white concrete, gray concrete, cyan terracotta, light blue stained glass, sea lantern, white, white carpet, spruce wood slab, spruce trap door, and the looms. First of all, fill in your whole floor with cyan terracotta, except for this little space right here. 
Now once that's done, you're going to take out your light blue stained glass and fill in this part with light blue stained glass. There you go. doesn't really need a time lapse because it's really easy to do. Now take out your sea lanterns and go under here. And now what you're going to want to do is just fill this whole thing in with uh, sea lanterns. There we go. And now for our walling, we're going to go three up with white concrete. Now, once that's done, you're also going to leave a three wide entrance right there, and also a three wide entrance just right there. Now, we're going to cap this off with all gray concrete. Now, once that's done, you're also going to come out here five blocks. Just come up four with these, and then just cap that off with the gray concrete. Now, that's done. Let's just get right into the decorations. Now, once that is done, we're going to, for the decorations, we're going to need a white carpet, spruce wood slab, spruce trap door, loom, item frame, weeping vines, gray concrete, lever, and a birch trap door. So, we're going to go from uh, right here. Yeah, so you go one, two, three. Make sure there's three in between, and one, two, three, four, just like that. And then we're going to come up one more layer, just like that. And this is to re represent the lockers again from Legend Craft. That's, that was your idea. So now go around this whole thing and place your spruce trap door. Now once that's done, we're going to take out our item frame and go from right here, place three uh, item frames just like this and then get out to your weeping vines and just place this in any mixed order and that's going to make for your wires nice job now what you're going to want to do is take out your uh, spruce slab go one up from just like that uh, go over one like that like that one so basically just three thick so far it's three by two should be good now go around this whole thing with your spruce trap doors, there you go, just like that. And now once that's done, we're going to take out our white carpet. And this is just to rep represent our towels. And then go from right here, take out that block and place a birch or iron trap door. Just like, oops. There we go, and now we're going to take out our spruce wood slab again. Go out one from right here, uh, just like that. Then go over one, two, three, four. Just like that, there you go. Now go around here on both corners, place your spruce, just like that, just like that. Now we're going to take out our loom again. I'm going to go from right here, right here, right here, another th three stack again, hold on. Boom, just like that, going around, going around, just like this. You can also use these bricks to help you get these on just like that and that is all the lockers done now let's get on to the actual towels just come up one from right there maybe three just like that and then maybe towel going that way maybe a bit uh towel going that way and you basically are just freestyling this whole towel area and you can just place this in every wherever you want maybe some right there maybe some right there Maybe one right here, and just like that. Now take out your uh, lever, and then go from right one on every three blocks. Just do that, and that's going to make for your shower heads. And uh, hold on, we're also going to do one more thing. Take out your gray concrete. Uh, go from right there. You're also going to put your uh, trap door on there, just like that. Item frame, a white carpet, and then uh, actually hold on. Do that, and then boom, that is your entire shower room completely done. And one more thing before you go on. You're also going to have a three-wide entrance right here, and this is going to be for your ventilation later. But other than that, that is showers completely done. Uh, two mistakes I made. First of all, actually come to right here. Take out these uh, spruce doors, because you actually don't need these, because they're just... That would just look like a table then. And then number two, take out your white carpet and then just do a three by three right there. Now we can move on to records. Okay, so here's the dimensions for the records room. You can just count out the blocks. And the blocks you're going to need are oak wood planks, light blue concrete, red terracotta, gray concrete, block of iron, polished black stone button, bookshelf, and an acacia trap door. First of all, take out your uh, red terracotta and then come up four. On the entire wall. Now once you got that done, you're gonna cap this off with a uh, gray concrete. And now take out your uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, light blue concrete and fill in your entire floor with the light blue concrete. 
So now once that's done, we're going to take out our oak wood planks and we're going to find the middle. Just do the same thing like we did for the cockpit in uh, episode 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, actually 5, 5, 7, 7. Wait a minute. Okay, yep, I was doing it right. So now once that's done, we're going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Place those in the middle just like that. Now we're going to come on a diagonal of 4. That's about right. Yeah, just about like that. Now come out five, just like that one. Uh, two, three, four. Yep, that's right. And then two, this again. Uh, then one, two, three, four. Yep, just let, make sure it lines up. Then one again. Last time, one, two. And just like that, now you're going to break out this whole thing and just fill it in with the oak wood planks. Now once you got that done, we're going to take out our bookshelf. So come from this corner right here from the entrance and come on here. So one, two, three, oops. Four on a diagonal right That Do the same thing right here. There we go. Now come right here, do the exact same thing with uh, four on a diagonal. Uh, come right here one last time and do that exact same thing and now we're going to bring this up a uh, three more high just like this and i don't really need to do a time lapse just so i can uh, catch up with you guys since i've been doing a lot of scene cuts and uh stuff three three and then we're going to do that one more time three 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 now we're going to take out our red terracotta and cap this all off there we go and now take out your uh, cage of trap door and then come up on uh, these sides right here they go just in the front of these uh, bookshelves right here because that's where it's supposed to go and then one more right here just like that and now once we're done we're gonna get straight into the uh more decorations actually one more thing we're actually also going to take out our block of iron Right now, we're going to come out one from right there, just like that. Place your buttons like that. Uh, one spaced out just like that. Uh, one spaced out again, like that. Now, we're going to come over to this corner. One, two, just like that. And we're just going to come over until we reach the uh, middle, which is a two in between right there. A two by two in the middle. Just like that, now we're going to come over here, break out these ones. There we go, now take out your buttons again, and then, uh, also, oops. Now once that's done, just take out, ah! Finally, there we go. Now we're going to come to, uh, this corner right here, still by a two up, and we're going to do these on the other corners. Boom, and now once that's done, we're going to, hold on, you also got to see these sides if you guys want to see them. And now once that's done, let's get into the other things. Now we're going to take out our purple terracotta, item frame, paper, chrisman stairs, and a chrisman door. So now we're going to go into the, uh, middle, like that. We're going to bring that out by one more. There we go go and then we can place our uh, item frame right there doesn't really matter we can place two right here actually doesn't matter then we're gonna take our crimson crimson stairs go right there go right there then place a door behind these two so that makes for your door and that's gonna be for your new task and now once that's done that is uh Actually, all of record's completely done, but we need a couple more things. And the one more thing we're going to need is our birch or iron trap door. Go from right here and just place it right there. And other than that, other than the cameras, which we're going to be doing in uh, the bonus part, that is all of record's completely done. Okay, so now here's the lounge and this is the dimensions. So the uh, first half of this room, you're going to need a stick, like gray terracotta, gray terracotta, purple terracotta, gray concrete, I don't frame, dark wood trap door, and end rod, and then some green wool. First of all, what you want to do is fill in this whole floor with purple terracotta. Now, once that's done, we're going to take out our gray terracotta, and first of all, fill in this whole first layer with gray terracotta. Now, once that's done, we're going to take out our light gray terracotta, and go on the next two layers of the wall with light gray terracotta. Now, once that's done, you're also going to cap this off with a regular gray terracotta. Now we're going to take out the other blocks that we need. You're also going to add a heart of the sea, heart of the sea in there as well, in case if you guys were just wondering. So go from right here, place some end rods just like that, and that's going to make for your, um, what should I say, a 
pool sticks, I should say. Now take out your item frame and you place an item frame inside of an item frame. Of course, down slash upload data right there. Come out to just like this. Now we're going to take out our uh, dark oak trap doors and we're going to go around this whole thing, the green wall with uh, do our dark oak trap doors. And now once you guys got that done, we're going to take out our uh, item frames, place some sticks uh, facing forwards just like that. Now we're going to take out our item frames and place a heart of the sea just like that. Now go two out just like that. And now we're also going to make another... 3 by 4 just like this. Again, going to do the same steps. And that is the uh, first half of our lounge completely done. So let's get on to the second half. Okay, now let's get on to the uh, second half of the uh, lounge. You also, Before you begin, you also got to bring this, that line over a bit just for your toilets. Now, first thing what you're going to want to do is uh, fill in your whole floor with your block of iron, including uh, this little area over here. So, yeah. Now once that's done, we're going to take out our uh, lime terracotta. Also, I forgot to tell you the blocks that you guys need. You're also going to need a block of iron, lime terracotta, lime wool, posh black snow button, warped door, end rod, uh, iron trap door, white concrete, and a uh, lever. Now take out your lime terracotta and go up three on this entire wall right over here, except for uh, this area right there. Oops. So, uh, yeah. Now, once that's done, you're also going to come up to right here. And then, uh, come over three and have a line just like that. Three over a line like that. Three over a line like that. And there's already a three in between right here. Actually, uh, we're going to get into this in just a second. And then fill in this whole thing. And now we're going to cap this off with gray tear, not gray terracotta, gray concrete. Now, once that's done, we're going to take out our lime wool, place a... 3x3 three three right here, actually, we're going to take out our uh, warped door and go right there, and that's going to be for your uh, toilet task, is that cap that off with the uh, uh, gray concrete, I cannot process what my, uh, actually, nope, that was wrong, you're actually going to take out your lime terracotta again, and just do that, now take it out, just do another 3x3, three three. dang it, no, again, what I was, Another 3x3 three three right there, again with the button, and then for the last one, I think, no, why do I always get this wrong? Boom, now once that's done, this is actually uh, almost done, but we're also going to need to take out our white concrete now, place a white concrete right there, lever on the side, a... Uh, and rods on both sides, and that's going to make free toil, and boom, that is the entire second half completely done. So let's get into the next room. So now we're going to get on the storage, aka the uh, cargo bay, and the bricks you're going to need are like gray concrete, gray concrete, pink terracotta, another brick wall, red terracotta, polished andesite stairs, andesite wall, and an item frame. First of all, fill in your whole floor with light gray terracotta, not terracotta, light gray concrete. So now once that's done, we're going to take out our regular gray concrete now. And going out one from right there, I think. Actually, no, come out uh, two more just like that. Then we're going to go up here one more just like that. We're going to go two spacing out, make sure there's a two in between just like that. And then just do that whole thing going across. So now once that's done, we're now going to go from one out just like from right there. There and now we're gonna take out that line. And just take that out going across. And take out that and just make a line just going straight across. Now do this exact same pattern going across this way. Of course, if you want to know where this starts again, you're just gonna go out one from right there, one from out from right there, and just basically do that same pattern that you were doing on this side and just Bring that out, going all the way out there onto that outline. And boom, now once you have that, we can get straight into the walling. So our walling is going to be pink terracotta and another brick wall. So first of all, just bring up this... Oops. First of all, just bring this entire wall up by a uh, seven. Now, once that's done, we're going to take out our gray concrete and cap this all off. Now, once you've capped all of that off, we are now going to take out our light gray concrete. We're going to come out uh, 
two more just like that, just extending it by, actually I don't know that, so, okay, that's good. Bring those out by, just like that. Now one more layer, just like that. And now what we're going to want to do is take out our andesite wall, just come around these corners, make sure there's a one brick wide entrance just right there. There you go. Now come down here and then fill this in with pink terracotta because it's a blank space and I forgot to do that because I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, but now take out your light gray concrete out again. Going to bring that up by a um, three, I think, just one below. And then one below that, and then one below that. Now we're going to take out our polished andesite stairs, put some stairs right here so it's even easier to come back in up there and stuff again. Nine frames, session nine frames. frame. That's going to be download data. And now what we're going to want to do is take out our gray concrete. Go from right there and from right there on these two. Oops. On these two corners right there. And then place a red uh, ter I mean red terracotta in the middle of that just right there. Now take out your gray concrete again. Going to do the same thing right here. Make sure there's no hole right there. And if you did, there's you did something wrong. But anyway, uh, just like that. And that's going to be for your entryway to lounge and storage. And now once that's done, we're going to take out another brick uh, wall right there. Go one out from here and bring that all the way up. Count over one more and leave a three wide entrance just right here. And this is going to be for your other side of ventilation. Now once you have that done, you're actually going to take out your gray concrete again, place a, keep your capping right there, and now you're also going to come over to the showers and place a capping right there as well, I don't know why we need that, but we need it, and now once that's done, that's going to be for our ventilation room later, so let's get into the decorations. Sort of blocks we're going to need for decorations are stone brick wall, block of iron, smooth squared stairs, uh, and you can just, uh, block of iron, just take out your block of iron first, uh, Come from right there, just right like that, and make sure there's a five right there, and bring that out by one more. Now we're going to take this, um, and fill this under thing, because the only reason why we got to fill this under is because we don't want to make it look like it's floating, because that would look very not professional of us. And now, once that's done, we're going to take out our smooth quartz stairs. We're going to go actually take out your stone brick wall first, I think. Yeah, just place some stone brick wall on... Both, actually, no, not right there, because I don't want to make it floating. Actually, put it right there. That's going to be for a uh, uh, rail right there. Now, take out your smooth quartz stairs and go one out from right there. And there's going to be two by three thick, I think. Yeah, there's going to be two by three thick. Now take out your block of iron and place block of iron underneath that whole staircase just to make it look secure. Then maybe bring that out, but don't break wall out by a bit. Block of iron and boom, that is going to be for your inner inter thingy for uh, ventilation in the uh, storage room. So for blocks for decoration, we're going to need uh, oak wood planks, yellow wool, uh, barrier uh, crimson planks, acacia wood planks, dark oak wood planks, a block of gold, plush blackstone button, and a birch trap door, iron trap door. So come from right uh, here to this very corner. We're going to go from right there. Is that good? Oh, no. I want to turn that around. Oh, my bad. Just like that, if you're going to use a birch trap door. And now what we're going to want to do is uh, actually get rid of that because you won't need that anymore. So empty hand for now. Now we're going to take out our oak wood planks. The first thing we're going to do is count out four from right here, just like this. Now we're going to bring this up by a four, if I'm right. Yeah, about four, five, you count it out. Uh, then bring this up by five, six, three... So count that over, one, two, three, four, five. My thing's being super laggy. And just like that, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna count over from when this ends. Just like that, and uh, so there should be a four right there and about uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that, five, six, uh, five ups. Now take out your yellow wool, go around this whole thing, and this is going to make for our first engine right here. Just bring that around just like that. There you go. I'll take out your oak wood planks again. Just basically do the same thing, but just coming in a bit, I would say. Actually, that is that too short? Okay, yeah, that's about too short, actually. No, that's good. Fill that in, and take out your yellow wool again, just like that going around basically the same thing there you go and now uh it's not good that's not the exact design but 
I'm gonna take out your oak wood planks. Just go around just like this. Actually, bring that down a bit. Just like that. And then go fill that in. Now take out your. Uh, actually, bring this out by two more. Just so it looks more like an engine. Uh, it's not the best at the moment, but it's the best I could do for this tutorial. Now take out your yellow wool and. Wait a second. Hey, wow, why we watch my screen lag while me doing this, so that's fun. We're actually going to take out our yellow wool and actually bring that out by, ah! Bring that out by one more and just delete the uh, other layer behind it. There we go. I think I got this bit working now. Now just delete that just right behind here. Just like that. There you go. So now it looks closer. I don't know why my thing's lagging so much. I don't know if this device hates me or not. But other than that, uh, yeah. So now that's better, we're actually going to take out our oak wood planks one more time. A simple 2x2 two two right there. Just go around that whole thing just like that. And that's going to make our first engine thingamabob done. Now while my screen is better, thank you guys for helping me do going through that. While my stupid screen was lagging, take out your oak wood planks again. And basically just kind of do the same thing, but it's coming just by the stairs right here. Just maybe a couple... Bricks out maybe by three in between. Uh, count that out by four. One, two, three. Uh, bring that uh, up just like that. Four in between and three on the sides. Uh, actually, four on the. Yeah, basically on the. Yeah, there we go. Why am I messing everything up? Uh, I basically do the same thing just like we've been doing. Just get rid of that stupid curve. Uh, fill that. And is actually that good? Okay, no, I am messing up. Oh. Why? And then delete those blocks right there. Take out your, uh, what was it gonna, oh yeah. Take that out by more. Take out your yellow wool and just go around the same things just like we've been doing for our other thingamabob. And now for our decorations for our boxes thingy, we're gonna take out our uh, oak wood planks. Just come right here and place a simple. 3x3 three three on the ground just like that, and now we're going to bring that up by uh, two more layers just like that, and there we go, and that's going to make for our like third first boxing, and now take out your barrel and make a 4x3 I guess, actually a 4x3 maybe 2 just like that, and just find a way to uh, stack that up because I'm too lazy to show you guys how to do it. And once after a long process, I actually did it. And let's give it up for me for actually being smart for once, for once in my life. And now we're going to get onto the windy boxes. So we're going to need a, just take out your oak wood planks and just place a simple 2x2 two two right there. Take out your uh, barrel and kind of just do, actually I don't want that. Why is it doing that to me? There we go. And now place a 3x2 two just like that. And then place a thingamabob just right on there. Uh, take out your prism. And take out and block top of that stack. Now take out your uh, crimson uh, wood planks. Actually, an acacia and plant some right there. Now we're gonna want to do is take out our dark oak wood planks. Then put a four by two right there. And yeah, four by two, a double layer, and then a box on top of that. Take out your uh, block of gold. Place a three by two on that. Put buttons on all of those. Now take out our uh, a crimson wood planks and just do that and that is a 2x2 two two, and that is our windy boxes and other than that this is all of a storage aka the cargo bay done and for our ventilation layout you're basically just uh, uh. wrapping it around from right there and just bring that under and then wrap it around just around there too bring that under just right here and like that and now uh, what we're gonna want to do is uh, take out our uh, red terracotta. We're gonna need red terracotta, red concrete, polished black stone, brick stone, brick wall, stained terracotta, yellow concrete, and obsidian, polished andesite, and that's it. And this could be for a box that we need. Now take out your red concrete. Go from right under here, and just kind of just do a uh, a wall just right under there. There you go. Drinking water now. Once you guys got that done. You're gonna bring this whole wall up by uh, seven with red concrete. And the next thing you're gonna do is take out your red terracotta and just cap that whole thing off. And now what we're gonna want to do is take out our polished andesite and fill in this whole floor with polished andesite. For take out your cyan terracotta and go from a 
this first entryway right here and just bring this out by five. <coughs> My bad. And take that out by five. Uh, another layer just like that. Now we're going to take out our obsidian and just go on here. These three blocks. Now place your yellow concrete in between those and just place your uh, uh, stone walls right there. Now take out oh, your sign terracotta again. Just do the same thing right over here. Two layers of sign terracotta. Obsidian, uh, yellow right there. Uh, stone brick wall right there. And then boom. Made a poopy right here. I actually take out your polished blackstone wall and actually replace these with your polished blackstone wall since I was dumb enough to actually do something like this. Now after that we're going to take out our stone wall for real. And this is going to make for our pipes. You can just basically just design this however you want. Just make it look like pipes as possible. As much as you can is what I mean. That would make it, that makes no sense whatsoever. But just don't uh, like overdo it or else it'll look kind of nasty in a way i don't know why i'm saying that but just kind of make it look like pipes and if you don't think stone walls make look like pipes to you so now once we got that now we're gonna get our uh, little friend right here a uh, barrier so i'm showing how to get a barrier on the screen there you go just go to the chat like where you talk to your uh, friends and stuff and just put the command right there because it's the only way it will work then you get a barrier and now what we'll do is just uh Close this uh, whole entrance off right here. We can make this three high or two high, just however you want to do it. And just do this on uh, both sides. Once that's done, that's all ventilation. Not ventilation. Ventilation done. And that means this is all of part four completely done. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you in part five, which is actually the final part of building this entire map. And then afterwards, we're going to do the bonus episode for, like, the, uh venting and stuff and whatever else we'll need and so to see you in part five